So I had him in ice. This is a long road guard. Packed him in ice. And they are very slimy. I'm gonna throw the ice over here and let her melt. If you're squeamish, this is not the video to watch. This will be my first time doing this, so we're gonna learn as we go. Did a real good job of getting the slime off. Huh. Okay, now see if you can see it. Yeah, let's take you up here a little bit closer though. All right. Now, I don't know, I don't know if you can hear that or not. It's crazy. These are armor-plated fish. You cut in with the. Uh, them under the scales you cut up in there like that gets you an open spot okay I'll be right back I gotta get my other tool I forgot sorry okay you cannot cut these with a knife you have to do it this way. Listen to this. That's crazy. That is crazy. It's awesome. Make sure you're still in frame here. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to change you guys to this side so you can see what's going on. This is so neat. Alright. You just take your knife, your fillet knife, and go in there. You hit that skin, it's obvious you can't cut through the skin. This is obviously a very young gar. Everybody I see and hear talk about them say they're very good eating. We're we'll gonna find out. Shot this gar last night with a bow. First time ever bow fishing. It's addictive. I would rather bow fish than I would hunt, bow hunt deer. And that's the truth. It's crazy. I didn't think I would ever say that. But it's true. Now they say that the, the entrails, the guts of gar are toxic. I didn't know that. So you got to do your best to stay away from them. Which, this is how you stay away from them. You just open them up like this, and then you, uh, I could use a lot sharper knife 
than what I've got. But then you just take the back straps out of these things. Is basically what we're doing. Okay, so now I see you only cut down to that fin because this fin goes all the way down in there and is really bony. Look, look how white that meat is. That seemed to work pretty good. Let's see what. See what we can do here. Come to this side. I'm all backwards. This is not really a, a how-to video because it's my first time doing it, but I guess that's one of the best kinds. Just see how easy it is for a first-timer to do. Okay, so now she's laid open. Just go down through there and fillet it like you would a fish, any other fish. Cut these back straps out and switch sides again. That's the wound where I shot him. And it is a good looking piece of meat. You don't get a lot off of them, but it's better than shooting them and Hold them in the creek or whatever guys do with them. I don't know what they even do with them. At least we're eating them. Like I said, everybody says it's really good eating. So if that's the case, I, I won't even hesitate to shoot gar. I said carp's good eating too. It's just hard to uh, get the bones and lateral lines out. Huh. There's one. Go to the other side here. See folks, this would be nice to have a cameraman to help out with. Getting different angles for you. I don't have that, so you're getting pretty much straight from the tripod here we go there's filet to butcher did a little bit but that's what we're left with right there just the skeleton in the case it comes in I'll cook this at some point and let you know